Jacqueline, the Bethany Medical North Carolina Rowing Championship is returning to High Point this weekend. And of course, it's going to bring thousands of rowers and spectators here to the triad. So you won't want to miss this. In fact, I'd like to go ahead and welcome Gene Kinnemuth. He's the head of the High Point and the coach of the High Point Rowing Club. Gene, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thank you for having me. Very looks, excited to be here. As I say, it looks beautiful out there behind you. I can see the water. So you kind of have to explain to me, we all love the triad who live here. Why is High Point such a great place for this championships to take place? So I'm here at uh, Festival Park at Oak Hollow Lake. And if, if you've ever been to Oak Hollow Lake, you'll know it's beautiful one day and perfect the next. <laughs> That's just how this is. And that is why people come to Festival Park to row. Uh, we have a massive championship coming up this week. We've doubled it in size from last year. Ooh. We had 150 boats racing last year. We're at 315 boat entries coming in for this weekend. That's uh, about 800 rowers and another two to 3,000 spectators coming to watch the championships. My goodness, it seems like it's going to be very, very, very competitive. Can you kind of speak to what these athletes are going through to get ready for the championships? So we have some really, really big uh, high school programs coming in from Atlanta, from South Carolina, from Virginia and Tennessee. And a lot of these kids are looking to really put on their best performances to get recruited by collegiate coaches. And we'll have collegiate coaches uh, watching the races, evaluating. Um, but then a lot of the kids are just here to have fun, have, to have a good race, um, hopefully win a medal and go home happy. And if they will definitely be going home happily if they do win that medal. But this, like you spoke, talk, spoke on earlier, the event has doubled in size than it has been in previous years. What do you think caused it to grow so drastically? Uh, one of the things is uh, there are very few locations in the southeast that have a really good straight body of water. Uh, and you can see the, the lake here behind me. But we also, to my uh, right, there's this beautiful natural stadium, a grass stadium, that uh, you can fit thousands of people in in their deck chairs just to watch the races. And then behind that, over the uh, hill of the stadium, is a, another huge, large, flat area where we can bring in all the boat trailers that bring in the boats. Mm. These boats are 60 feet long. Uh, they, uh, they come in on trailers, about 15 boats on each trailer, just stacked about one above the other. And, I mean, to give you an idea how big these trailers are, Congress had to pass a federal, a special federal exemption just for rowing trailers. They're bigger than semi-trailer trucks uh, to get in here. And we had the space here at Ocala Lake to get them all in. So I think that's really why it's taken off. The coaches who come here just love to be here for that fact. Well, thank goodness they have all that space out there. I did not realize that these boats were so large. And you kind of spoke on how many people are going to be flooding to the area. What is this going to actually mean for those local businesses who may be needing to see still a little bit of a rebound from the pandemic? Yeah, so we have food trucks that are coming in for the uh, for the event, and they are going to sell every meal they can possibly produce. Uh, we also have restaurants, uh, local restaurants. We really tried to push locally owned restaurants, such as Gianos, uh, to cater meals for the team. So these teams come in, and they may order uh, up to 150 uh, team meals from these restaurants that will be delivered here right to the lake so that they have those to, to eat. Um, and then we also uh, don't try booking a hotel this Ooh. weekend in uh, the triad. We've booked out pretty much everything for this rowing event. Uh, I know one Atlanta team booked out the Courtyard Marriott at the Oak Hollow Mall just pretty much all by themselves. Uh, so it's going to be it's going to be uh, a great weekend for the local economy in the triad. That sounds amazing. And quickly before we go, I know there are some veterans who've been to this event before. Can you kind of just quickly touch on what's going to be new about this year's championships? Well, we have uh, some sponsorship uh, this year. We're going to have a regatta lounge uh, for people who are looking for a little bit more of a uh, more comfortable uh, or I'd like to say luxurious experience at the event. And we'll have lovely outdoor furniture uh, sponsored by the High Point, uh, some High Point furniture companies. We'll have a sit down lunch under a big tent. Uh, it'll be a lot of fun for anybody who wants to come and be a part of that. And uh, you can purchase a ticket for that online at triadunitedrowing.com. Thank you so much, Gene. It was a pleasure to speak with you. And of course, the North Carolina Rowing Championships are happening all day on Saturday at Festival Park at that beautiful Oak Hollow Lake that's sitting there behind Gene. You can find out more information at triadunitedrowing.com.